Hi guys, AJ here, and I've got a little key ring here for my air tag. So I'm just going to unreal this um, and talk about it. Cool, awesome. <laughs> Here we are, so we finally we've got a, I've not been waiting this long to get it, but it's just that I've been very busy doing a lot of work around the house. Um, doing painting and getting the floor done, to make our house look nice. So here we are, so this is a key ring, as you can see, for an air tag. So we've got there some stitching there. These are I presume very good quality, high quality leather compared to maybe not as such as the Hermes um, ones, which I think are a rip off. Absolutely, like 400 or quid for a bloody key ring holder. I mean, really. Um, looks pretty durable. You pull it, it doesn't seem to tear. You've got your stiff button there which is also very good. So let's get the air tag out. This is black leather, by the way. So let's just take the tag out. If you've seen in my previous video, when unboxing of an air tag, and as you can see, I've not actually used an air tag. So I've been busy, don't really need to use one at the moment. Anyway, so this is how we put it in. So you undo the buckle. We then have like a little slidey, slidey piece there. So we slide that in. And there you go. Pretty safe, I'd say, in there. Now what I've noticed with a lot of these um, companies that sell these is they don't actually have the um, a bit of film or rubber over this piece because this piece apparently gets scratched very easily because it's not very well made by Apple. Um, but yeah, so we know what an AirTag does. Um, which I'll highlight in a minute. But like I say, this is quite a good sturdy tag. That is really a um, key ring holder. That is very strong. I mean, this bit is strong, obviously. Probably made of steel or something. But then this bit here, I mean, look at that. I'm really pulling on that. So it's really strong. So that's not gonna come off your bag. More likely the bag would rip rather than this bit. So it's solid, it's quality. Um, I'll put a link in the description of where I got it from. Um, which I think is eBay, not Amazon, because Amazon didn't have many, and they were really expensive, the ones that they did have, and you had to wait ages to get it, where this only took a few days, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's good quality. And um, yeah, so that'll be going on a bag of mine, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, one thing that annoys me that people that do videos about what's so good about air tags and one of the things that i find is they say oh yeah to track where your car is so when you're in a car park and you're trying to you know they're just trying to find examples and it's a poor example because if you know if you use apple maps like i do um, when you park up because you're using bluetooth connected to your your stereo so i have a car play or i haven't got car play so i just use the standard bluetooth that's in there connect to my um, radio so I can stream the music to my radio um, and play from that so when I do that um, <clears throat> it's quite simple really to do it's not difficult it's not hard and so with that and so with that you then have quite an easy thing quite an easy idea really is that where you've left your car you can track that on your map. It's not difficult. You don't need an air tag, not the key ring holder, but the air tag, you don't need for that. Simple as that. So 
I don't know why people keep going on as this as an example and then sort of saying, you know, that's how poor an air tag is. Because then you're not really selling it. So maybe edit that out of your videos and actually, you know, to track your car, the best way, and if you've got an iPhone 11 upwards to a Pro Max 12 Pro Max, um, you can track where your car was last anyway, through, like I say, Apple Maps. So as long as you connect your car via Bluetooth, with your phone, um, or vice versa, um, then that's pretty easy, that's pretty straightforward. It's not difficult, it's not hard. I just don't know what all the, the kerfuffle's about. Um, you know, there's one there, quite a big company in America that do the reviews. And they were like, oh yeah, I had to get to 30 meters or 30 feet, and then it found, found the uh, air tag. Just go Google Ma uh, Apple Maps. You'll find your car straight away. Absolutely find it perfectly where you, where you left it. So, yeah, you don't use an air tag to track your car because it's not going to work. But anyway, guys, just a short little video, sort of an unboxing of the key tag or key ring holder. Key holder? I don't know. Um, key ring holder for an air tag. I'll put a link in the description of where I got it from. Very good price, very good quality, and I will certainly be buying a few more of these for different colour bags. I don't have many bags, but maybe I'll just give it to my wife, I don't know, or my kids, whatever. Because um, I'm not really into air tags. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry I've not been around. It's been quite a while since I just did a video. I've got another couple of videos coming up. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. See you all soon. Love, peace, stay safe. Bye-bye.